Look at that beauty. Look at the way the clouds wisp and the sun just brightens everything right up. There's so much beauty to behold in this life. If we'll just look for it, we'll find it. Life can get tough. I bet I'm preaching to the choir when I say that. And yet, I'm learning to appreciate it. The contrast, that's what I often refer to the con as contrast. There's an Abraham Hicks talk that goes into how a fish's environment is water and how ours on this earth is contrast. So rather than calling it difficulties, which we can at times when we need to, being able to just put a different term to it can help sometimes. And I like it, contrast. When you, when you look at photographs, let's say a black and white photograph um, of a sunset, you're going to get your blacks a bit of grays and and your your blacks are gonna have different tones different levels of darkness and lightness to them alone if you just had a black canvas wouldn't be as interesting or a black photograph or a white photograph just white but now you add the two together contrast it makes quite a beautiful thing to behold. I'm beginning to see that all this and the ability to be able to drink it in in every moment that we possibly can. It's what makes it all worthwhile. About two years ago, I decided I had to, I couldn't, I didn't know what to do to change my life at the time. I was going through some things that I didn't fully understand and my body was tanking my health pretty severely, but so were my emotions. I didn't have good emotional health and a lot of other things were happening and I didn't understand them at the time. And I figured, you know, if I can't change anything else, there's one thing that I can change, and it's my mind. I, that is the only thing that I am in full control of, is my thoughts, my feelings, the way I react or respond to the world, the way I choose to think about circumstances. And I realized no matter how bad things got, I choose. I could choose to look at it in light, or I can choose to look at it in darkness. Now, there is beauty in darkness, but I couldn't keep drowning in it. So there's been a lot of steps that I've taken in the last couple of years and I hope to share with these with you more. This whole journey, I look forward to sharing um, in one form or another with you because it's been quite rewarding and I hope that it'll be something that can give you a voice as well. One thing I've been doing is practicing the art of gratitude and it wasn't easy at first at first I, I oh man I remember the first time I did this morning routine and it was like doing five things when you first wake up and one of them was listing off five things you're grateful for now for those of you who've been through a time where you're you just feel like your life is becoming dark you'll under, probably understand this, to find anything you're grateful for. I mean, you could have a million things to be grateful for, but because of the mindset you're in, it can be difficult. But I was determined. I think it took me about 10 minutes, or maybe less, but it felt like longer. Just sitting there trying to think of five things I was grateful for, there's gotta be something. I don't feel bad if that's you, if you're at that point, because it's, it's just, there's nothing to feel bad about, it's a learning curve. We're all in this life together. 
So I started listing off things I was grateful for and the more I started doing this every day, the more it evolved in being able to see things that I loved about, I liked about my life, that I appreciated about my life, which turned into eventually after months, loving, learning to love and have deeper appreciation, affection for things. And the more I did this, the more I was able to start noticing and waking up to all the beautiful things that there are in this life and started being able to, now there were other contributing things, but I found that just really learning to find appreciation in the smallest of things, things that we take for granted sometimes. You know, something as simple as seeing a beautiful tree standing tall and being able to fully appreciate its magnificence or watch a sunset watch the way the golds and the peaches and just light everything up and the way the clouds almost look as though a painter him or herself came along and with vision and just painted it all just so that you could enjoy it just so that you could have something to know that you're not alone. Being able to find fullness and, and happiness even in the smelling of a flower, in the seeing of a butterfly, in having a pouring rainy day and you're feeling miserable because of everything and you're walking to school <laughs> and your heart just hurts and then something hits your sinuses, your senses and it's the smell and you're on an island and the smell of cedar mulch and, and, and trees just being saturated with the rain just hits your nose. I find that learning to appreciate the smallest of things and put more focus on them and practicing doing it all throughout the day can be quite rewarding in that we then be able, are able to take rough to tough to impossible to just downright awful moments in this life and find flickers of hope, flickers of beauty, flickers of happiness. And so I encourage you, I know it's hard, but I can't even begin to describe how rewarding it can be when in this life, when you can just being able to smell something that just hits your sinuses and it just it's so refreshing being able to take that much childlike appreciation into it or seeing a cute little bunny rabbit and just pausing just for an extra several seconds just to just to appreciate that moment it's a beautiful thing that you can cultivate and that you can grow to the point where it becomes your life and you start to find so much hope and glee and beauty in your life again. And so that when you are going through those tough moments, you've got something to enjoy. But when you're not going through the tough moments, Oh, you're never taking for granted, like literally next to never, if ever, taking for granted a single moment because you're just you're soaking it all in. I love you guys and I encourage you to keep going and for those of you not going through a tough time but you just want to add more bliss into your life, the art of gratitude. I, I get it now. I get why people talk about it a lot, the art of gratitude. And it's funny how the more you practice, it starts to heal your heart too. But more on that later. Enjoy this one last glimpse of the sunset this night. Beautiful prairie sunset. And have yourself an amazing rest of your day.